Now, they're going to be coming out of school at 3 o'clock. George has just been elected president of the junior class. And as it's June, that means he'll be president of the senior class all next year. And Emily has just been elected secretary and treasurer. I don't have to tell you how important that is. Yeah. There they are, coming down Main Street now. Isn't that, Cicero, the worst thing? It's awful. Tell your mother you have to. I'll try. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Helen. Bye, Fred. Can I carry your books home for you, Emily? I, uh... Well, thank you. Just like that. Oh, excuse me. One minute, Emily. Say, Bob, mm. if I'm a little late, start practice anyway. And give Herb some long high ones. Bye, Lizzie. Goodbye, Lizzie. I'm awful glad you're elected, too, Emily. Thank you. Emily, why are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. You've been treating me so funny lately. Well, since you asked me, I might as well say it right out, George. Goodbye, Miss Cochran. Goodbye, Miss Cochran. What is it? like the whole change that's come over you in the last year. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but I've got to tell the truth and shame the devil. Change? Well, what do you mean? Well, up to a year ago, I used to like you a lot. And I used to watch you as you did everything. Because cause we'd been friends so long. And then you began spending all your time at baseball. And you never stop to speak to anybody anymore. Not to really speak. Not even to your own family, you didn't. And George, it's a fact. Ever since you've been elected captain, you've got awful conceited and stuck up. And all the girls say so. They may not say so to your face, but that's what they say about you behind your back. And it hurts me to hear them say it. But, well, I've got to agree with them a little. And I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but I can't be sorry I said it. Well, I'm glad you said it, Emily. I never thought such a thing was happening to me. I guess it's hard for a fellow not to have faults creep into his character. I always expect a man to be perfect. I think he should be. Oh, I don't think it's possible to be perfect, Emily. Well, my father is. As far as I can see, your father is. There's no reason on earth why you shouldn't be, too. Well, I feel it's the other way around. And men aren't naturally good. But girls are. Well, you might as well know right now that I'm not perfect. It's not as easy for a girl to be perfect as a man. We girls are more... We're more... Nervous. I'm sorry I said all that about you. I don't know what made me say it. Emily? I can see it's not the truth at all, and I suddenly feel it isn't important anyway. Emily, would you like an ice cream soda or something before you go home? Thank you. I would. <laughs> 